This short demonstration is brought to you by Astronic Test Systems and the Freedom brand of communication systems analyzers. Our topic today is R8100 user interface tips and tricks. What will you learn from this presentation? The Freedom Communication Systems Analyzers have complex capabilities to test and measure any LMR system. Our focus is to provide an easy interface to simplify navigation and setup. By utilizing the shortcuts and memory features in our analyzer, you decrease time to get ready to test and increase repeatability in making accurate measurements. How is this presentation structured? Learn how a customer uses our memory features to make their lives easier. You will see how to set up and use these time-saving features. Learn about other firmware updates, which are free for the life of your analyzer, can provide measurement improvements for your systems, preventive maintenance and subscriber tests, and auto-tune. Can these help you in your job? Jack is responsible for the communication systems of a large school district in Virginia with 90 schools that need communications to help transition thousands of students in and out of school and for critical communications in the event of an incident, there is a lot of information to manage. Our presets make it easy to go to a site, call up the school by name, and you are ready to test. No need to look up information. It's all in the preset and you are ready to go. Let's look into ways to ease your use of the R8100. We have designed the Freedom R8100 with ease of navigation in mind. Instead of drop-down windows, which may leave you guessing where a function may be, we utilize zones which are associated with the information enclosed. Our four zones include the RF zone, the audio zone, the display zone, and the meter zone. Let's say we select the RF zone. Every editable parameter associated with RF can be found on these special function keys. You can edit it by, say, selecting the frequency. Use the keypad to enter in your information, or use the spinner knob, or the arrow keys, and then enter. In some cases, the horizontal function keys may be used for selection. The escape key gets you back to the main menu. However, to reduce keystrokes, we have these highlighted hotkeys on the keypad to quickly jump from one zone to another. So you can go to the RF zone, audio zone, display zone, and the meter zone. You can see how this speeds up navigation. Now, let's look into presets. With each device you test, there are several parameters and variations of setup. You can save time and setup by using presets. In just the RF zone alone, you have frequency, modulation type, bandwidth, attenuation mode, and levels. You can select a direct measurement using the protected RF IO port or measure off the air on the antenna port, which may preclude using the preamplifier. Then there are multiple parameters in the audio zone, the display zone, and the meter zone that you need to set up. Let's say it's Monday after the title game and you had the rockin' party where your team carried the day. It's too early in the morning and you really do not want to think at all. The preset remembers your setup. If it was last used before you shut down, it will be the state the unit powers on. In order to get to presets, select the blue test key and presets. In order to capture a preset, use save configuration as. You can see up to 47 alphanumeric characters in the display to completely describe your preset by location, color code, or whatever makes it easy to remember. To use a preset, use the arrow keys to highlight your selection. 
use load selected preset. We'll turn on all modes, settings, and instruments to set the unit as you need. This takes about 30 seconds to complete so you can make fast, accurate, and repeatable measurements. If you plug in a USB drive to the side of the unit, the import and export presets will appear. This allows you to share presets between test equipment and or store on your computer as backup. You can only edit the presets on the test equipment. There is a preset indicator by the battery window, which shows which preset is in use. The Load Factory Configuration button is a very important function under presets. As with any piece of test equipment or software-defined device, as you move from one configuration to another, it may seem that something's not set right or look right. This selection resets all parameters to factory default, similar to Control-Alt-Delete on your computer. Now let's look at some other features of the R8100. How do I capture measurements to print out and attach to a radio? We do not include printer drivers that may slow test equipment response, but provide a way for you to capture the screen and transfer it to your computer. At any time with your USB drive plugged into your unit, you can select Shift and the number 0 and will capture a JPEG of your screen. The first time you do this, it will warn you of access to the USB drive and that this action will write to that drive. It's possible this action could corrupt or overwrite any files on this drive, particularly if you pull out the drive before it is finished. It is recommended to wait 30 seconds before removing the drive. Just hit continue to complete the action. As you can see, it is sending the JPEG to a file Freedom Screenshots. Subsequent Shift-0 activities will not result in this warning. For developing training guides or reports, you may want to see, for instance, just the spectrum display. In order to capture that, hit Shift 2, and only this zone will be captured as a JPEG. Many times we are asked if we can operate equipment with a mouse. Our monitor is designed not to need external equipment to operate. Our special function buttons and LCD display allow for easy operation with gloves on and can be used on a wider range of temperatures as others. If you want to operate using a mouse, our remote front panel control option allows complete, complete command operation via the Ethernet port. Every push button selection can be done remotely. In this way, you can network into your equipment on a remote site to help a tech in a field deal with a complex issue. You can separate your test reporting and test setup. Many customers have the radios and service monitor in a separate area from the computer to control the test equipment and log in results or test reports to then print out. What other measurement improvements are available on the R8100? With Freedom's software-defined test equipment, we are constantly making improvements in ways to make measurements. These are free for the life of the unit with the firmware updates. One of these new improvements is our new cable sweep function. This can be found under the blue settings key under system settings. Our cable sweep table can measure two port measurements or sweep the entire cable. Select new multiple points. The system will set up the test equipment to make the measurements, which will require a 6 dB pad and a test cable between the RFIO port and the gen out port. Once you have this set up, you hit continue, it'll make a sweep, and then instruct you to put your test cable in line with this measurement. Once that is complete, you'll be able to identify the test cable with the alphanumeric name. As you can see, each test cable has a different loss according to frequency, increasing as you go higher in frequency. In order to use the cable sweep function, you must enable it 
In this way, we'll show accurate measurements in manual tests as well as your auto-tune tests. What other measurement improvements are available on the R8100? We have seen several features of the Freedom Service Monitors which enhance speed to test and ease of use. Our software-defined test equipment continue to improve and many times based on our customer feedback. Talk to us about your measurement experience. We always strive to improve. Here are some other measurement improvements in the R8100. Our extended range generator output. When testing two port devices like a repeater, our normal RF generator output is plus 5 dBm to neg 90. To test sensitivity, we have always recommended using an external attenuator to extend that output down to neg 125 dBm. This option builds the attenuator inside the unit to make an effective RF generator range output from 0 dBm to neg 125 dBm from the generate port. Our external 10 MHz reference for systems such as linked DMR repeaters or simulcast systems a very stable time base is critical. Our oven controlled crystal oscillator is a very good source, but for those applications a rubidium standard or GPS linked time base is appropriate. Our external oscillator port allows us to tie the test equipment to your time base to provide highly accurate frequency response. Our full screen spectrum analyzer display and dual display, which you see now. When working on interference or distortion issues, your monitoring needs may require a wider window to see what is around in the RF world. Our standalone spectrum analyzer provides a full display view to capture wide span activities, freeze displays, compare stored traces with live activities. You can quickly set a marker on a peak and pull it to center frequency. With our DMOD at marker feature, you can listen over a wide span to characterize a potential interferer. Our dual display provides frequency domain in the spectrum analyzer display with time domain in the mod scope display. These separate views can be beneficial to track down distortion or interference issues. These are only a few of the beneficial measurements and easy to use tools available on the R8100 series service monitors from Freedom Communications. Go to www.freedomcte.com to learn more about our solutions or find a local rep to help learn more. Thank you for your time in learning about the Freedom R8100 service monitor. We are open to your feedback on how we can improve. Our local reps are available to provide support or demos to show you how these solutions can make your measurements better and maintenance efforts easier. These features we have discussed can be found on our website in our library page on the operator's manual. For more information, we have many application notes, user guides, and a growing number of training videos to help make your life easier. We support our products with live people so we can listen to you. Have a great day. Thank you.